Hey guys, this is KG583 here with my first Minecraft video. Yay! What I have for you guys today is a two wide tileable uh, binary adder and subtractor. Now, what that is, is it takes two binary inputs, either a one or a zero, and adds or subtracts them. So if I were to put in one plus zero, well, that's just going to be one right here. Now, if I were to put in 1 plus 1, well that's 2, but 2 in binary is 1, 0. So I have a 0 here, and the carry, which is this right here, displays a 1. So that's 1, 0, which is 2 in binary. Now, this thing is also a subtractor, so this here is the toggle. If you turn this on, it'll make it a subtractor, but I can't show you it on this model because in order to apply the toggle, you also have to uh, add 1 to the first carry. It's called two's complement. It's a little binary rule. You can go ahead and look it up if you'd like. But basically, you can take this design and copy it using slash clone, which is what I did, and I made a 32-bit design. So this will add or subtract two 32-bit numbers. So I can add, say, four and six, which will give me ten. So, yep, yeah, that's ten. And oops. That's not they're clear, there we go. Uh, and I can make this, it'll also work say 6 plus 4, do it the other way around, it'll still display the same answer. Uh, and if I turn on the subtractor, it'll make this instead number 2, because 6 minus 4 is 2. Now if you notice, the carry function, which I use, which is all this stuff up here, actually that kind of has to roll through to reset, so it's like, oh, I'm on, wait, no, I'm off, so it kind of takes a second. In the end, this will all go off in a sec. Yep. And there we go. So it still displays 2, and that always happens whenever you use the subtraction feature, it's just kind of a thing, so this does take quite a few ticks to actually give the correct answer, so if you're putting this in a computer, it would need to be on a pretty long clock. Just a little note. Uh, so, yeah. Basically how it works is the toggle between adder and subtractor, basically to perform two's complement on a number, you complement the number, so in this case invert it, and add one. So this first ZOR gate inverts the input whether or not the toggle is on. And then it just takes the other input, which it doesn't invert, and takes it here to the second ZOR gate. Sec second ZOR gate, well it ZORs uh, A and B. Now, once you ZOR A and B, you have to send it through a, another ZOR gate, which takes in the carry from the previous number. Now, of course, this is one bit, so there's no carry from the previous number, but you still need to do the ZOR twice if you're having, you know, like a 32-bit one over there. Now, how you get the carry is a little harder, because using this one-wide ZOR gate, which I found off the Minecraft forums, and I cannot remember the guy's name, so sorry to him, but anyway, the only thing that is really unique uh, that allows for a carry uses this torch here and the output here. And basically what I have is it takes the output here and this torch here and forms an AND gate and then an OR gate such that if either this turns on from the first OR gate or from the second one it'll create a carry because that's how most uh, adders work. So it creates the carry, which goes right here, and then if you were to have another one right here, this would be right over this piece of dust, so it creates the carry. Now, if you want to see uh, another design, this is the classic uh, adder that you can find on the Minecraft wiki. As you can see, it's much wider. It's three wide, but it's still tileable. This here is the carry, so it's a little like shorter, but the other problem is that a and B, the two of the same inputs, are right next to each other, which isn't very convenient. This, however, there, A, a B is on top of A, which is much more convenient if you're running a bus into this in, say, a computer. So that's another advantage of that. I haven't seen any other one-wide adders, at least on the forums or on the wiki or anything. I uh, could be wrong, but, you know, if you, if you know of another model, you know, let me know so I can check it out. 
but yeah, this is about all I got for you guys. If you want me to show you some of my other redstone creations in the rest of this world, then leave a like down below, or comment what other things you want me to do in Minecraft. I'll probably be, be playing servers pretty soon, things like Mineplex, etc. Uh, so, whatever you want to see, please leave a comment below, and I will try to do that. Anyway, guys, that'd be it. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching.